Oftentimes, people come shopping for pianos with barely any understanding at all of what makes a piano good or bad. Hi everybody, welcome back to Piano Center. Uh, we thought we'd do a video today about something that happens multiple times every single week. People will come in and they'll say, yeah, we need to get a piano, but honestly we really just don't know very much about pianos at all. And we thought we'd spend a few minutes over this, uh, over this video just giving you some ideas on what makes a piano a good piano. Hope you enjoy it. There's one easy mode way to find out what good is for a piano, and that's simply to go to a world-class piano and hear and evaluate how it performs, what it sounds like, uh, how it plays. Then go and find something that's as much like it as possible that's a price that you're comfortable paying. Really, that's it in its essence. Learn what great is and then find something as much like it as you can. Steinway, with almost 170 years of history, talks about three things that all begin with the letter S for helping guide people towards the right piano. They talk about style, sound, sensation. Basically, how does it look, how does it sound, and how does it feel? Once you figure out the general shape, upright or grand, and especially if you have any specific ideas on color or furniture style, the very next most important thing is how does the instrument sound and how does it feel? In short, does it do the musical job correctly? It's, it's the most important starting point. It's what a piano's for. For cars, we need to know how does it drive. For food, how does it taste? For piano, it's how does it sound and feel. Now, sure, there's sometimes slightly different demands for classical music versus contemporary music. Uh, very different demands for just casual playing versus developmental or progressive playing. But there's still some general guidance, some principles, some ways to evaluate what's the right thing for how a piano should sound and feel. Then we'll also go over to a used piano of lesser design and condition, something that doesn't perform as correctly, just so that you get a really clear idea of contrast. After that, everything else in the showroom can easily be compared to which end of the spectrum it's most like. Is it most like the right thing or is it most like something that's got some caution to it. Once you've established where you are for sound and touch on an instrument, I'm interested in build quality for the new pianos or the quality and condition of a used piano. We do go into used pianos a bit more in one of our other videos. For new pianos, I want to know that the piano follows established best practices found in higher order instruments and that it doesn't cut corners with lesser materials or hidden compromises. In the end, good performance comes from good design good materials, and good production. If you miss any of those steps, you're putting overall value at risk. One thing that is certain, though, in my experience, is that you don't get to good performance without paying attention to those kinds of details. So for me, if you know how to properly evaluate performance, you're already a long ways towards making a good decision. 